The WebDAV protocol makes the web a readable and writable medium, and it provides a framework for users to create, change, and move documents on a server. You can now use First Class as your file server and mount First Class conferences and communities on your computer desktop and move documents in and out of the container and edit them directly just as if they were stored directly on your computer. In this video, you'll be shown how to set this up and how to connect to your First Class server using a number of different operating systems. James wants to create a conference that can be used for personal storage of documents that he can edit using his favorite productivity application. He logs in from several different computers and some of them are Windows based systems and some are Macintosh. He creates a conference on his first class desktop and gives it a name, Current Work Documents. Since he created the conference, he is the owner of that conference and thus he has full read-write edit capabilities on any documents that he adds to this conference. He logs off his computer and now must mount this conference as a mapped volume on his local computer. So let's take a look at how this can be done from a variety of different operating systems. On Windows 7, open a File Explorer window and click on the Map Network Drive button. In the resulting window, select an available drive letter or use the default and enter the website address of your first class server followed by the slash and the word login. Make sure you enter HTTP colon slash slash at the beginning as well. You can optionally check the box to reconnect at login and then check the connect using different credentials checkbox. Click on finish and you'll be prompted to enter your first class login ID and password. Your drive will now be mounted and you can open your current work documents folder. To disconnect the mounted drive, right click on the mounted volume and choose disconnect. To connect using a Macintosh computer, open the finder and then select Connect to Server from the Go menu. In the resulting screen, enter your first class web address followed by the word login using a capital L. Click on Connect and enter your first class user ID and password. The Remember Password in your keychain option is optional. Click on Connect and as with Windows 7, you will see the contents of your first class desktop where you will be able to open your current Work Documents folder. To disconnect, click on the shared drive and then click on Disconnect. To connect with Windows XP, open the File Explorer window and choose Map Network Drive from the Tools menu. Enter your web server address followed by slash login and optionally choose to reconnect at login. Then click on the link Connect using a different username. In the resulting window, enter your first class login ID and password, then OK. Then click on Finish and your drive will be mounted, giving you access to your current work documents container. To disconnect, right click on the mapped drive and choose disconnect. Finally, we can look at a login using Windows Vista. As with Windows 7, open a file explorer window and click on the map network drive and enter your first class web server address in the server field and optionally click the reconnect at login button. Then click on the connect using a different user name link and in the Connect As window, enter your first class user ID and password, then Finish. The Map Network Drive will be mounted, giving you access to your current Work Documents container. This can be treated like any other drive in your computer, whether on a Windows or a Macintosh computer. You can copy files into this folder and do direct editing of documents in that folder. Just open the document and when asked, enter your first class credentials once again. Once you have made your edits, save it and the file gets written back to the first class conference. Here we are now showing the Map Network Drive on a Macintosh and how I can open the same Word document on the Mac and continue my editing. On the Macintosh, iWork documents like Pages documents are also fully editable. And one last thing, if you have enabled First Class Communities on your server, you can enter the First Class Communities domain in your login and mount and view your desktop and see all of your communities. Any documents edited in a community will support full web versioning as well, and that will be noted in your First Class Community.